the header and the footer of your website. Like I said before, the header and the footer is what will be static on every page on your website. So when you go to another page, the header and the footer will be the same so people can actually navigate through your website. So with Squarespace, very easy, just click on edit site header. And then here on the right side, there will be a menu. So for example, we can click on site title and logo. It says demo site. This is where the logo will go. So we can just click on add logo here, upload file, and then let's choose this file here. Then this will be uploaded. And then as you can see, now we have my logo here at the top. We can also change the size. So let's make this a bit smaller like this. So this is how you change the logo on the header. You can also go to elements here and then you can change all the elements you can see here at the top right. So if you want to have the button, you can just leave this on and then change it. Let's say to for from take action to start now. We'll change the text here. You can also turn off the button if you don't want it. You can uh, turn off the social links here or you can turn it on and then change the links here. Make sure you change it to your actual social um, pages, obviously. Change the size of the icons. It's very easy and straightforward. Then under style, we have some different header styles. So currently we have the dynamic uh, style. We can also change it to a solid header. As you can see, we have now a white background or a, di or a gradient which looks like this. And then we can also go to uh, this option here, fixed position. I believe by default it's turned off. If you turn this on and then it's under header style basic, then this header will always be visible when people scroll down on your website. So let's show you what I mean. Let's go to done, save. And then when we scroll down here, as you can see, the header will always be visible. So if you want that, you can keep it like this. Um, personally, I don't really like this. So I'm gonna go back here, edit side header and turn off the fixed position. And then I go back to style and just change it back to dynamic. I think the default version actually looks the best here, but you can play around with it. Um, and if you wanna see how it looks, you can just always uh, go to done, save, and then click on the arrow here at the top right, which will go into preview mode. And then you can see exactly how the style looks like. To go back again, go to the top right, click on the arrow, and then again, go to edit here, which will take you back to the edit mode, edit side header. And then here you can make some more changes. So that was it for the header. Now let's scroll all the way down and go to the footer area. Now this is a bit different because the footer kind of works the same like a regular section. When we click on edit footer, we just activate this section here. So as you can see here, we just have a couple of text blocks. So this is a text block right here. We can just click on the block and then um, make the changes. So we can just double click here, change the text to whatever we want. Um, and this also is just text with some links. So here, if you want to change the links here, you can just change the text. And then to make this a link, you just double click it. So it's highlighted. And then with this link button here, we can just change the link to whatever we want it to be. Click on the gear icon, then go to page and then send them to any page that we want. You can also add logos here. So let's click on add block image and then let's click on the plus sign, upload file. Let's add my logo here, open. And now we have the logo. We can basically place this here in the center and now we have the logo in the footer. So the same way like you customize your sections, you can customize your footer as well. Now the next thing I want to look at is how to customize